Are you saying that under, under grace is sort of a whole anti-confession stance? Absolutely not. I mean, you, you look at the book of James. Uh, James says, confess your sins one to another. Um, but the point of James, uh, you know, bringing that up is it says so that you can pray for one another. So I want to confess my sin struggle to you so that you can pray for me. But that's very different from teaching that, you know, I need to confess all my sins, remember them all, tally them up, confess them to God in order for him, in order for him to come down out of heaven and zap me with a new portion of forgiveness. So confessing your sins one to another so that you can pray for one another is all about body life. It's about body life in Christ. And so what I need to do is I need to see that I'm not activating God. I'm not activating God and causing him to come down and do something new. Uh, it's already done. So why would I want to confess my sins? Well, again, for prayer one to another, but then why would I want to talk to God about my struggles? Well, that goes back to the finished work of the cross as well. He's already forgiven me. Uh, he's already accepted me. He's already embraced me. Uh, so why not talk to him? I, I don't get it. People who misinterpret this as anti-confession, it's actually the polar opposite. Because I'm already forgiven, because I, I, I've already been given a clean slate, because he saw all of my sins, past, present, and future, before the beginning of time, he saw them, and he initiated a plan to take care of them in full. So what's not to like about this God, and why wouldn't I talk to my father about these struggles? Yeah. So it's like the traditional view of confession infers incremental forgiveness, and what you're pushing for is that we've been totally forgiven once and for all, and this, we don't, it's, our forgiveness is not incrementally handed out based on our performance or our ability to confess. That's yeah. what you're against. Yeah, exactly. For yeah. example, you know, there's this, um, you can download a Roman Catholic app for your iPhone right. in order to take care of all of your confession. And you'll notice that uh, it's gotten to the point where we're, we're using technology. It's like I confess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to use that. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So, yeah, this, this, this has gotten to the point where it's ridiculous mm -hmm. because... Uh, you're using technology to track all your sins, check them off in an iPhone app, and then deal with them, and then you're hoping that the God of the universe honors this system so that you can stay clean and stay pure. And um, you see, when it's gotten to that point, it's just one snapshot of how obsessive and ridiculous it could all get if we're not just gonna simply rely on the finished work of Jesus. I mean, it's so massively liberating when you realize you're actually forgiven, right? Yeah. You know, it's come to that. We actually have to believe that, right? Yeah.